Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to perform delete operation in OLEDB command transformation in SSIS package. So what we will learn, we will learn how to create SSIS package from scratch. We will learn how to read data from flat file in SSIS package. We will learn how to write delete statement with parameters in OLEDB command transformation in SSIS package. And finally, we will learn how to map those input columns that we will get from the flat file to the OLEDB command transformation parameters for delete statement or operation. Now, I want to mention one thing here. Uh, this uh, is uh, really fine if you have small set to delete let's say you have 100 200 or maybe 1000 record this would be fine uh, but if you have thousands of uh, records and you want to delete uh, this approach might not be perfect uh, or not, might not be the best practice uh, you might want to write your records in the staging table and use uh, the delete statement uh, to perform that because the in OLED we command uh, command transformation uh, the statement uh, the lead statement is going to be prepared for each of the row and run for each of the row so that make it a slow transformation let's go and perform and learn the uh, functionality and then you can decide uh, either it, perf it, it it works for you for your requirement or not so that's different scenario and uh, but at least we learn the feature how it work now what i have here i have a customer table with the customer id customer name and region code and it has uh, three records what requirement I got I got this requirement uh, I'm getting some uh, data from a source uh, that's a flat file and I want to delete those records uh, so depending on the customer name and uh, region code so I want to delete anything that matches with this given data from the table and I will be using OLEDB command transformation to do that. Let's go and create our SSIS package and we will be using a SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. If you are using old versions such as 2008 or 2005 SSIS, you will be using bids. So once uh, you have the project uh, open, click here on SSIS packages uh, and then uh, you will see new SSIS package tab. Click here, new package is created and we are going to rename I'm going to copy this part because I'm uh, keeping the name OLEDB command transformation and then I underscore delete so I'm going to use the same name and just remove the update part and use it delete now we have a new package here and we will be using the data flow task to read the data from a flat file so first of all we will be using go to sources flat file source here you will be making a new connection so hit new and browse to the file hit open now it took everything by default and it is okay for us the column names in the first data row I have that and then go to columns and I have a carry return line feed as a row delimiter that's fine and column delimiter as a comma in your cases uh, you might have different settings uh, so select uh, according to your requirement or whatever the source you have it now we have customer name and region code go to advanced and take a look on the data types so by default the data type for these columns are string dtstr50 you can change if you want but i'm okay as i know that this will be fitting into worker 50 so I'm fine preview the data come and correct now retain all values from the source as values in the data flow I'm laughing at this one because every demo I do I tell what it is and I don't know but it is uh, maybe this is the first video you are watching so it is all right so if you have a blank values coming from the source and you want to convert them to the null values you have to click this one in our case it's not really true because we don't have any blank values coming but there could be scenarios where you will use this one hit on columns and column names are coming correct customer name and region code hit ok next part we will be using OLEDB command transformation so here I brought that one and we have to prepare our delete statement so let me copy this table name and how we write our delete we say delete from table and then we say where customer 
name is equal to Amir and then and we use region code is equal to let's say Asia AS so that's how we write our delete but when we are going to use this delete statement in the OLEDB command transformation these values will be replaced with the question marks as these values will be coming from the input columns so for each of the row we will have that customer name and region code and these question marks will replace that value and then build our SQL statement for delete so let's go back here now we have to one more thing we have to do we have to build the connection manager and that's where we are deleting the data from a table so cancel most of the time some transformation does give you opportunity so you can create the connection manager from there such as um, the, I have seen uh, different uh, where you can just uh, right click and say create new variable and all that and here I don't see that you can create a connection manager so you have to go to the connection managers pan right click and say new OLEDB connection if you have already created uh, for the solution you can use that one or if you want to create a new one we will hit new button and then provide the SQL server instance name or server name and uh, we select that and then provide the database you can hit here if you have hundreds of databases you will be scrolling but I recommend write it down so if you write T it will bring all the databases with T so we are using test database make it fast okay now we are all good with the connection fine refresh if we need to refresh and component property uh, properties here we are going to go and write our query so I'm gonna paste my query here and what I see here it is only writing the first row of my SQL statement because I have entered the I have used enter and came to the next line so I use enter key to come to the next line and when I was writing this statement so it took only the first row so what we need to do we can copy the entire thing again if you want we can retry still it is going to take uh, the very first row so what you need to do click on this uh, button and then paste that and see your query is uh, coming correct make sure it is correct now we have customer name and region code in the where clause hit ok now next is a uh, mapping columns and as we see that uh, on the left side we see the available columns we have customer name and region code but here we see parameter 0 parameter 1 and that's kind of confusing so you have to go back and remember here say okay first is the customer name so that's how you are gonna go and say customer name is very first and region code is the second in my cell in my delete query so you see that and then you go there and now hit refresh all looking good this is very confusing when you have a lot of uh, parameters uh, and uh, then you, I recommend writing uh, on the SSMS and just uh, you know making sure you have this is first this is second and sometimes you can make a maybe uh, in the Excel uh, and uh, write by yourself with the parameters 0 2 3 and 4 and then you can map them here and uh, that's how you can kind of keep track which one belong to which one anyways so we don't have to deal with the input and output parameters that's uh, sorry properties and uh, this column doesn't really do anything here so we are all good select a connection manager that's first thing write your query with the question marks that make it parameterized and then uh, finally we map the columns from input to the destination hit ok we are all set now I'm going to run this select statement show you there are three records and we have one record in the file that is Amir and AS uh, Amir is the name, AS is Asia and uh, close this one so once we run our SSIS package what should happen now one record should be deleted from the destination table the package ran successfully stop the package go back here run our select query okay the, the table uh, sorry the record is deleted successfully now uh, if you guys say all right uh, it did uh, delete one uh, but how if we have more than uh, one record will it delete so I recommend uh, you know doing those type of testing uh, and I will say okay go ahead and we have John let me put this record again 
let's insert this record we say insert into dbo customer and then we say values and we say amir and here i'm going to say as i inserted this value and also what i'm going to do now in the file i'm going to add one more uh, row with a john and na so let me go back the name is john and his region is na so there are two records now and we have those records in the table as well if i run my package now these two records should be deleted and only one record should be there that's christy so let's run a ssis package now and see if the both records are deleted successfully so the package ran successful we see that two records are read successfully stop the package go back to the select statement run the select and we say that christy is left so two records are deleted so that's how you will be building uh, your SSIS package uh, to delete the records uh, uh, from a table by using uh, OLADB command transformation. Again, this is not uh, the best practice uh, when it comes to a lot of deletes. Uh, I would recommend putting in staging table and use set based queries uh, to delete your records. Thanks very much once again and I will see you in next video.